What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Jerry Live, man. I'm live in effect. And today, I got another video for y'all. Y'all see me with no hat, you know what I'm saying? Typically, I be wearing hats in the videos, but I got I got a haircut, man, today. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all be honest with me in the comment section. Really, nigga? But uh, I got my blessed shirt on, you feel me? I'm just out here kicking, still decent outside, but y'all see the title on the video. That's why y'all clicked on it. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to give y'all some tips on how to keep a conversation going. Now, Keeping a good conversation is really, really good, right? You want to keep a good conversation with somebody, whether it's your friend, your brother, your sister, your family member, your girlfriend, anybody, right? Or, or it's just somebody you do not know, a stranger, or somebody who potentially can give you a job, or whatever the case may be, right? I want to let y'all know something, man. Having good conversations can lead you into those doors that can possibly change your life, man. You want to focus on having conversation skills. And I know this firsthand, right? I ain't going to expose and put my friend's name out there. But my friend that I used to work with at my old job, when I used to work at the movie theater, I've always noticed about him, right? I ain't trying to talk about him, but I've always noticed that he wasn't really a big people person, right? And every time we would be working together and we would talk, right? We would have conversations. He was kind of, you know, a little awkward. He didn't really know how to have a conversation with people. And he wasn't just with that with me. He was with the other coworkers as well, especially women, right? So it's because he didn't really have good conversation skills, right? But I'm gonna give y'all some tips, right? On how to improve y'all conversation skills and how y'all can keep a conversation going, right? Number one, when you are having a conversation with somebody, Make sure y'all using direct eye contact. Look directly eye to eye to that person to let you know that you're 100% fully focused on the conversation in that person. You know what I'm saying? Have direct eye contact. Number two, I know this, right? When you having conversations with people, sometimes you try to, you will typically run out of, you know, things to say. Sometimes I've done that as well. But what's helped me is I always ask questions, right? So let's say, I'm trying to give an example. How can I do this? Because it's just me. So it's kind of hard for me to do this example without me talking to myself. But I'm talking to y'all while I'm going to be talking to myself. I'm like, so, okay, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm direct eye, eye contact, for example, right here, I'm like, um, hey, um, how you doing? My name is Jordan. Oh, hi. Um, nice to meet you. My name is John. Hey, man, um, did you catch the Bulls game last night? Yeah, man, I catch the Bulls games last night. They won by 20 points. Oh, yeah, man, that game was dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to <laughs> – I know that was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. But I was trying to give an example. You know what I'm saying? But pretty much what I'm saying is you got to ask questions. You got to ask questions when you're, like, having a conversation. Just bring up something like – um uh, like the weather today, uh, you admire the weather outside, um, you catch the basketball game last night, um, like do you work out, uh, do you pray, whatever the case may be, like keep the conversation going by throwing something out there that, that you think the person might be interested in or, or something that a person might have done so that y'all can relate to and y'all can actually build on conversation off of that, right? You could throw out anything and it could be something that that other person does and y'all could talk about it, right? If it's, if it's something that the person hasn't done, it's cool. Y'all could probably switch over to something else. But you got to be quick. You got to be quick and throw something else out there so that it won't be an awkward silence or awkward y'all just staring at each other while y'all having a conversation. Like, you got to be constantly putting out things, right? Constantly saying things so that the conversation will keep on going. I'm telling y'all y'all like i've seen too many people i've seen too many people who can't really keep a conversation going and it'd be awkward it'd be awkward straight up like when you just you in front of somebody direct eye contact you face to face with somebody y'all talking and like you just you kind of if you've been in a situation where you just talking to somebody y'all having a conversation and you just wanted to be done with because number one they talk too much they talk real loud they're rude or it's just boring, like what they're talking about to you. It doesn't interest you and you just want to lead a conversation. I've been in that so many times, right? So, like, y'all let me know if I should make a video on how to exit a conversation. Because <laughs> exiting a conversation is something I've done with finesse. Like, if I don't want to keep talking to you in person, you know, direct, direct eye contact conversation, I will make up something, make up an excuse, and I will try to get up out of it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like, I've done that to people. Y'all have done it too, so don't lie. But yeah, man, um, that's pretty much my tips on how to keep a conversation going is just to, you know, constantly be throwing stuff out there, constantly be asking questions, like give out compliments, um, talk about something you may like and they may like it as well. Just try to be relative, like uh, relatable, my bad. Try to be relatable with that person. You know what I'm saying? Try to 
throw out different things and yeah the conversation will keep going after that man but if you like this video hit the like button for me also comment down below what y'all thought comment down below if this helped you guys out in any type of way um comment down below also any videos y'all want to see me put out on the channel i put out a poll yesterday and a lot of y'all said y'all want me to make reaction videos again i think i'm gonna go back and make a reaction videos but i'm gonna let y'all know it won't be probably music it would be like some uh, some interesting stuff that i think that y'all would like but y'all gotta bear with me, man. I'm gonna try to get back on it probably next week. So y'all stay tuned for potential reaction videos in the incoming future. But yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much it with y'all. Like, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all all for the support. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, man. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace. Let's